Very productive day. That's what I like to hear. That's what I like to hear. Uh, I know ranked is back up, man, but I want to play the brawl. I want to play the brawl. Adjust my monitor real quick. Okay, that should be good. Decklist is looking good to me. Uh, two and a twos. We have five, six, seven. So there's this, um, one card margin of error for call, but you don't need to always pull three. The first one's really what matters. Yeah, I mean, it should be fine. Let's uh, lock that shit in. Yeah, this is like, it's like level up on crack, basically. <laughs> That's the way you can think about quarter, man. <laughs> Welcome to the big league, bro. <laughs> yeah, some big leagues. Uh, just gonna keep the protector and the blade. Blade's nuts against mage, because you beat up on the two threes and the three twos. Must be not bad. It's also not really good, but it's whatever. I will take it. 10.24 a.m. It's the a.m. dude. I went to bed at like 6 a.m. last night too, so this is nice. I just, I fell asleep and then I had a dream about the tavern brawl and I woke up and I was like... Well, I said I was gonna stream early. And now we're here. Well, I got a one drop on turn one. Uh, so I think I'm gonna play it. And I think that I have a two drop on turn two. So I think I'm gonna play that on two. And then, I think I have a 3 drop on turn 3, so I'm probably going to play my 3 drop on turn 3. Be smart. Oh shit, another, the real 3 drop. Oh man. I still probably play the blade, but it's kind of tough. Oh yeah, dude, actively climbing makes a lot of sense now. It makes a lot of sense if you can do the 20 stars from 4 to Legend. Eventually I'm going to start seeing my games. Hey, I'm excited here, so excited. I'm ready. Okay, so we could just go for the ballsy Stewart, but I feel like it's not actually that good here. I think that I just would prefer to go for the Rallying Blade, uh, even though he has, like, you know, Korean Term Age plus Counterspell, and that messes up the Mustard. Could be wrong, though. I don't know why I'm so dead set on using it that way. I think the 3-3 three, three is really good. So I think I do this, and the, the three one weapon after is really good as well. Because I beat up the current star mage, and I also beat explosive rings and polymorph, and then I have quartermaster on five. So if it's counter spell, it's bad, but the other secrets are fine. Yeah, we chill with that every time. Uh, let's take a man. Come on. Uh, I mean. I'm, I'm not just, like, wasting this, right? It doesn't make any sense to do. This is, like, one of the few matchups that I might be okay just, like, playing this as a 3-4. I'm not sure how I feel about it right now, though. <sighs> Tempo 3-4 is not bad. It's really not bad in a specific matchup. It's unlikely to be counterspell, right? It really is, uh... If it's counter spell, I basically lose to this play. That's why I don't want to make it, but I think I just do it because it's only, you know, one out of three. That's the issue with the play. <clears throat> That's the issue with it. I think the upside's still higher, though. I don't have very many cards to test it with. It's only, like, jungle, really. The quality as well, I guess, but... It's just shitty, man. Hey, big boy. What's up, buddy? How you doing, man? Welcome back for the eighth month on the road, dude. Hope you're having a great day. Let's get buddy, how you done? It's not necessarily likely to be counterspell, because like it's just whatever he threw off of the Arcano girl. Um, but yes, that would be the one that he would want to play out. But just because he wants to do something doesn't mean that it's like 100% gonna be that. I don't know, it's just like a shitty situation overall. Yep, good order with that for him. Yep. We're in a bad spot now. A really bad spot. Well, I mean, the logic is that it's like it's more likely to be runes of polymorph than it is to be counterspell, because like there's two counterspells in the deck, two runes, and two polys in general. So off the Arcano Girl, it's like more likely that it's not one of those. Goes face. Call it to arms. 
Hey, double juggler, nice. Okay, getting those juggles popping off. Uh, definitely not bad. Definitely not bad. I'll 100% take that. The double juggler is beautiful there. Push some damage down and definitely uh, kind of secure control the board back. Just sweet. Um, I don't know, Darius. I, I personally wouldn't really recommend the path of being a streamer unless you're really good at a video game and have people who can financially support you for basically uh, a year plus. That you won't be like a burden on. Would be my tip. You also have to be really good at whatever you're doing, which is not easy. Ooh, he's going face. Nice. Kind of scary. I mean, he doesn't win if he trades, I don't think, so that's a thing. But, uh... Two arms, men! Two arms, men! Not my two arms, men. Then they're in skate. That's entity interesting. Probably just trade one of those bad boys off and then value trade, trade the mini bot. I have enough value to just win with this hand just based on the hero powers and then the, uh, the synergy cards. So I just don't want to take extra damage from the 2 4. Rather just like let him ping off the 3 1. It's not a big deal. Uh, but yeah, I'd almost always like, um, say like it's probably not the best idea to stream. It's really fun though, like I like doing it a lot, but it's just like pretty specific circumstances that'll let me do it. And it's definitely not for everybody. Uh, so this is plus 2-2, two two, so I don't have lethal. Uh, I could do this and then get attack, right? One few anything as well, right? Because it's 5-5 five, five versus 6-6, six, six, and then I had two outcomes that win me the game. Plus one was still good, poisonous was fine. A lot of stuff was good off of the like uh the second one. Basically just the opportunity to win the game there, I think was worth it. Because Secret Mage has, an, has a hard time dealing with the 3-4. It trades well into two threes. And it just in interacts well on board basically. Versus Rexa. Hey wait, how you doing, man? What's up? What's up, Fox? What's good? Uh, Hunter, definitely just want the muster. I don't think I assume it's Giants, so I just keep muster because it's really good against token decks. It's a curve. It's definitely a curve. Dude, uh, I, got, I got Legend on Europe last season, but then when I checked yesterday, or sorry, when I checked this morning, I got rank 5. Like, I, I reset to rank 5 with 5 stars. It was really weird. But I know it was bugged for a lot of people, and a lot of people are getting rank 1 5 stars. And I'm not sure if that had to do with games that they were playing beforehand. But, uh, feels bad, man. Just gonna play the juggler because of the aggressive nature of the Mustardo. And, uh, gonna play the Mustardo next turn, and he's never gonna have Alicia Hounds because that is not something he has in his deck. Come, midnight. Explosive Trap might be, though. What the fuck? The battle. Uh, I mean, I might just say that it's not freezing. It's just a risky call. Mustard's not even good anymore, though. Or sorry, that's not explosive. My bad. I mean, you could argue that I could just play for board for a while, and that's probably fine as well. Dealing with the tokens is probably just really good for me. Uh, the problem is turn 5, he just plays... Yeah, hit the one once, please. I don't think I'm trading the 3-3, three, three, right? You can make the trade if he wants. Made the trade. We cool one. The battle. The battle. 
Chilling. Okay. So we can coin Lost in the Jungle and then play Sega Man. We can also just go Call the Arms here. So let's snipe, I guess. Interesting when he runs that. I think I just do this. It's like a consistently good play. Interesting, interesting, interesting. I mean, Snipe is a one of isn't necessarily the worst secret. It was a lot better in metagames where, like, Gaijusen Auctioneer is prevalent, though. Definitely a lot better in metagames like that. Evil will be purged. Okay. I don't think that I need the stickiness right now. The battle. The battle. The bat the battle. Like I feel like the damage is just better for me here. Job done. Oh, that's fine. Okay. No big deal. Chillin. Oh, that's weird. Let's set up with this. No spell stone? Um yeah, not yet, dude. How you doing, Reno? What's up? Hope your preps been going well, dude. That's why I'm saying not relevant, man. Not relevant. Uh, this is good for the mini man. Uh, definitely would have been nice to have the divine shield there, but not a big deal. We have the refill, right? So again, I'm not sweating too much here. Yeah, of course, he's playing Freezing Trap against Recruit Paladin, dude. You gotta bump back the cool Silverhand recruits. It's not like a 3 mana 1 1 is not the worst thing in the entire world for me either, so it's actually really cool. Really, really cool. <laughs> okay. What kind of scary beast is that? Build a beast always freaks me out. The jailer, the hero power, and the blade. Buff up that mini man. And jams the damage face. Got the equality. I think we are in a spot where we can maybe win the game and go 2 0. What do you guys think? I think we might be getting there though, this game. I'm kind of feeling it. Just kind of. Just kind of. Just kinda. Line man. Uh, trade, trade. Easy. Easy life. Yeah, it definitely could, could have been like, um. A misplay to not pick a divine shield, you're right. I'd use the argument of. Warm up game A. I mean, so if he plays Giants on 5, I can coin Tareem, I guess? I mean, so I just keep Minibot and Tareem? I don't like Creeper at all in this matchup, man. At all. Creeper's just like saying, hey, make my opponents defile really good. And I don't like making my opponents defile really good. Quality's really good into the Giants, too. I think Tareem overall is just like a really good card against Warlock. Any slow deck, it's just really, really good against. Zulok? Hey man, you're not supposed to be playing that deck. I don't want Sreem against your deck. I won't call the arms against your deck. Come on, dude. What the heck, man? Oh, uh, what? What? Okay, so... How often do you put these two in the same deck? And how often do you pull my one divine favor with your number for Uh, okay, uh, what's, what's the answer here? Uh, I think it's just like Jaguar Coin that another time. Face, Juggler, do your job, come on! No face. Um... 
Uh, Burbank, Charizard. That's honestly not a big deal. There are definitely worse cards to overdraw. Come on. We all know what's happening here, right? I'm looking at you. I'm looking at you, homunculus, alright? I've got my eyes on you, buddy. That is not how that's supposed to work. Uh, I really want the juggler to live because I have standing against darkness, so I'm gonna make a greedy boy play. Greedy boy play. Yeah, I definitely agree with that, Pierce. I couldn't really explain my logic with the um, pick, to be honest. I really want to play the darkness card, but uh, Dreadlord just beats. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Do I ever just like a quality jailer trade? Which path to choose? And then go stand against Darkness Crystal Line next turn? Oh my god, I think I do. It's not a good equality, don't get me wrong, but I need to stay ahead on board. Good ordering for the spell son. Side effects. Not no. the mom. Trust me. Okay. Cards please stick. See a line. Appreciate that, man. Good workout. Hello, Defile. How you doing, buddy? I don't like Defile very much. I could have committed lust for sure. Darkness Girl. Back to your home. Reporting, reporting I like Darkness Girl. If there's one thing that I like my recruits to have, it's Divine Shield because it makes them very frustrating to deal with. Imagine it, dude, you, you can't imagine if you have Divine Favor. I'm bad at the game. This guy runs cards and removes the top card of my deck, so I'm gonna lose every time. Oh shit, pick another. <laughs> Take the eight. Take the eight. I dare you. Main deck, Shittering, but why? Uh, Demon Wrath, I guess? What else is that? I'll make the trade. Call me what you want. Hey, no, 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 no. We Now I'm kind of imagining if I had the divine favor here, <laughs> how much easier the game would be. Um, Darkness rises. Yeah, I think so. That was Victor. I was extreme, man. What's good, dude? Sometimes you lose to Chittering Fuck Tunnel or Warlock, it happens. What's up, Control? I'm chilling, man. Welcome back for the entire year, Victor. Thank you so much for following my stand. Appreciate it a lot. Hope your stream is good, dude. And, uh, not much, dude. I'm just chilling. Getting wrecked at 2 0 by a uh, Control Warlock. Fun. The battle is over. You win. The Discord stuff is usually important to do as well. Mage, um... Not feeling it. Not feeling it.
Uh, also not really feeling this hand to be honest. It's not terrible, but it's also not good. You just posted there, Jesse. Oh, I'm sorry, Grandpa. Uh, bot is that are super laggy, okay. As long as it's not my stream. Whenever I hear super laggy, I assume it's my stream and I'm just like, fuck. What do I do now? Uh, coin called arms is awesome, obviously. I think I just start with protector. So he plays on two. I might even just like temple quality, to be honest. Seems weird, but I might just do it. I think this is just like a strong play. Sets up the juggler really nicely. Uh, it's this current Tormage into counter spell, but we have coin to test anyways, so we're fine. Which path to choose? Repent. It's actually a really good use of the card this matchup. What's up, Meowth? How you doing? Uh, I can't participate in the second qualifiers, man. I'm on a plane. So I won't be able to uh, participate anyways, unfortunately. Oh no, counter spell? What are we gonna do? Oh, uh, Neutron plus Jungle Man. With the curve cards. What's up, Arzanek? I'm late. I'm late. I'm late too. I still think I call over the rallying blade every time. Spicy juggles. Really, really good call uh call the arms there. Really, really good. See so tradesy pings. Lucky's fine. Belly is okay. You are on fire. Belly is better for me than a lot of stuff here, actually. This is Quartermaster, I think. Two arms, men. Weapon ready. Oh. The battle. The battle. Oh. I don't think I'm over trading, I think it's fine. I'll always play the juggler. So no reason to make the last one, I don't think. So frantic. Unleash your potential. So now we just start going face. Take the buffs to connect towards my opponent's face and utilize them. And hopefully win. Yeah. That's the game plan there. You almost forgot to submit list? Damn, dude. Good luck. I hope you qualify me out. <laughs> Good luck, dude. I believe in you. I saw that uh, Alb qualified in the second wave for Europe, so that's awesome. Okay, 3-1, nice, nice. I think that game has played well. I feel like I played well that game at least. The counter queued already on ladder and it's day one of ladder. It happens. People want legend. That's regular stuff. Ladder will be ladder. That's why you should tavern brawl instead, you know? Nobody counter queues in tavern brawl. Nobody. Because you just can't. I will fight with honor. One good card. One good card is good. So it's not bad. We don't really pull minions with one health from uh, the whatchamacallit card though. I do think that I just start with Protector over the jungle. So, uh, Thirsty went live yesterday. Thirsty. Control Thirsty. 
I can play Stuart and Tuska down. It's really funny. Just in case I'm gonna do it. That's super funny actually. And they get two on one divine shield tokens. <laughs> Stuart of Darkshire is such a frustrating card, man. Oh my god, it's just ridiculous. Back to your home. So annoying. So, so annoying, dude. Like, what are you doing to that, man? Uh, yes, I enjoy the Tavern Brawl mode more than Ladder right now, yeah. I think this is like a nice wide variety of opponents that you get. Uh, and you don't have to get counter and all that kind of stuff. And I feel like it's a little bit more exciting or exhilarating to play just because there's a little bit more of a reason to try hard, right? You know, you want to get your 12 wins every run. It feels like there's kind of like an adventure you're going on when you play the game right now, which I think is a lot of fun and exciting for me at least. Jugglers! Oh, oh, okay, okay. Avenge is fine. Uh, I think that we just pass here. I could actually preemptively just bump. Sure. Those are the ones that I would want to trade anyways. Uh, they're not going to implement it permanently, dude, because it's too um, it's too much of a gold farm for players who are good. It's not like Arena where you... like Because in Arena you can't get to something like a good Dex. Uh, whereas in this mode you can. So I don't think they'd ever do it uh, in, a, in a manner where they have it all the time. No more. Got to remix for Rachel. Obviously, it's not great that he had the concept there, but who gives a shit, right? Like, our board's great. We're in a good spot. We're going to win the game. We're in, uh, as I would call it, control the board. We're in control the board. Crew Pallet is nasty, man. It's okay, you got concept again, man. It's good. But, uh, Consec is not Sunkeeper to Reem. Now we do this first, this is better. Because if he Tareem's or Tareem, which is basically his only answer, then we can just stag it on. And then get like Poisonous. And answer it that way, so I think this is just a stronger line. Any sniping issues with the Brawl? Um, I mean, you can't really tell when people are sniping you, man. I don't think so, though. Which is another bro of it. GG. Control okay, is this go? Thank you, subhumanly. Yeah, that happens with priests sometimes, Rando, and it sucks, man. It sucks. Jungle man's like good against presex. I won't call arms. Jungle man's not bad, but I don't think jungle man's great is my problem. I think there's just cards that are just gonna help me a lot more against the vast majority of presex. Full keep. Okay. Kinda scary. Definitely a clunky hand, that's fine though. We can work with it. Priest is kinda problematic for this kind of a build. Creeper man is not good either, but it's something to do. And doing stuff is good. I hate the little, uh, the visual error where Divine Favor will go over the crystal line here. It just bugs me. I know you can just like hover over it to fix it, but it just annoys me when it happens. I don't know if I'm the only one that gets bugged by that, but it, it kind of just triggers me. Not even a lot, just a little bit. Nah, dude, he doesn't get barns, don't worry. No barns from him. We're chilling. Okay, so he plays the Essence card next turn.
Plays Essence next turn. I think that I want a crystal line here instead of uh quartermaster. Which path to choose? Reporting for duty. Hey, the battle, the battle. Resource management is pretty important against big priests. He can't scream this turn, he can scream next turn though. I'm one off of the Urpars' face. That's fine. My juggler. I don't know if I want the board space or not is my problem, because I want to play Terrain next turn and he's just gonna resurrect, right? I think that I see this. No dude, Arthas is better than Andre. Uh, I haven't played the matchup enough. I don't play Big Priest, so I can't tell you how it works from that side of the board. Go to refill, so that's good. Can go to Reem, Coin, Blade, clear off the Obsidian Boy. Actually, goes to Statue, we win most of the time if he doesn't hero power his face as well, which is sweet. Goes double Statue, we don't. Because even if it hits one of the minions, we can still win. The shield's all that matters, so, though. Yeah. It's fine. card. <laughs> Literally the best card on the board. The classic, buddy. The classic. Oh, I'm casting Bertic. Do I play the Resurrect I have in my hand? Yes or no? Hmm. 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 I don't think that I want this. The light dims, but I just want to draw a Recruit Synergy card here. I mean, if I get an attack, I win, but I think this is just consistently better. What would Uther do? I feel like it is, but I guess you could also argue that this is better for refill as well through Scream. So I guess that I do this and just go for the W. It's more likely to brick, though. Oh, is it better than shield? Yes. The battle! The battle! The battle! Must now! Quality again is really good, so yeah. 
Yeah, I got put down to 5 too. Kinda sucks. quality if he has another resurrect card I'm gonna be in a pretty bad spot though is the issue thanks drug and I'll appreciate that man glad the YouTube content's helping you bro appreciate it no res come on we made you homie I think I want a Quartermaster Lothab. It's just he heals so much that it's almost not relevant. If he's using spells, something like that, like he's obviously in a bad spot. So I think that I might just like. I have to Quartermaster though, I don't have a choice. Like Hero Power Quartermaster, I guess. Trade, trade, go face, face, face. Then do this next turn, but it's kind of just like. Eh. I don't know. I'm unsure in what I do here. It's actually fine, the recruits are what's important. The issue is second scream, so it's gonna beat me now. But he's played one vision and already got the visions card, so it's unlikely. Because he's had turns where psychic screams good already. Warriors of the frozen wastes. But she's fine. No big deal. So got another quarter man and second man. Okay. Good stuff. 